Alcohol is never the answer, but it helps you to forget the question. Welcome to the Canon 7D Mark II full review. This is a camera way above the entry level DSLR for high end enthusiasts and even professional photographers. It comes with a price range um, about $2000. It varies where you are, what currency you are using, or where you buy it from. This is an outstanding camera. It comes with a crop sensor APS C at 22 megapixels and Digic 6 processor, the most advanced uh, one currently at any Canon DSLR cameras, beating even higher value bodies like the 5D Mark II, which has a uh, Digic 5, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that makes uh, a difference in reality. Uh, I'm gonna show you later in few tests today. Personally, I've never bothered to worry about the Digic number processor because I never understood what it does. But after playing with the 70, uh, 7D Mark II, I can tell you I felt it. We'll get into this a little bit later. The Canon 7D Mark II has one of the most advanced focusing systems, 65 points. It comes with an autofocus fast tracking feature, which became standard after being implemented uh, for the first time at the 70D. The best feature of this camera is the 10 frames per second speed and this is the best frame rate for a DSLR as far as I know. I'm not sure if there's a 12 frames per second option out there, but this is quite good. And uh, you can actually almost uh, do a video with it. Of course, a video is 24 frames per second, but you can play with the 10 frames per second. Anyway, that's not the point. The shutter is uh, very silent, almost like the other brothers in silent mode. It takes EF and EFS mounts lenses, so from this perspective it takes the best of both worlds, full frame and crop sensor cameras. Because I can mount on this one EFS lenses and I can also mount the EF lenses, obviously. It does have integrated pop-up flash if you want. It comes helpful sometimes and it shoots video uh, full HD at 50 frames per second if you wish which is about the standard 24 frames per second and that helps for the slow motion video producers. It does with an impressive ISO quality and uh, the range is going up to 16,000 expandable to 25,600 and it performs much better than the other Canon cameras in the market today. <music> Let's go a little bit through the physical features to describe it into context. This is one of the largest DSLRs, a chunky body of the size of the 70 or 5D Mark II or 3. So it's a serious size camera that will impress. It comes with a classic Canon shape, top LCD screen for fast settings, top main dial, shutter button, quick options, is a white balance, autofocus drive, ISO and LCD light for situations when you are in the dark and you want to see what's on the screen. The top LCD is not available for entry level DSLRs and this is uh, very useful and comes into the market static with the Canon 70D. We have uh, a back uh, 3 inch LCD screen, very sharp, very high quality, but it's not a touch screen. We have the back video and photo select and the uh, video star button, a menu scroll button, quick select button, a selection wheel and the set button. On the right hand side we have the menu, info, rate, zoom, play and trash buttons. Top left hand side is uh, the main dial for camera shooting modes, the manual, time priority, aperture priority, bulb, for creative and full automatic mode and also comes with the three custom modes that you can uh, customize yourself. You have a pop-up flash and a lens release button just like the other Canon cameras and now a few goodies on the side. This camera comes with a, uh, with a dual SD and ECF card slots which are amazing to have either for shooting uh, more photos 
or just to have them as a backup. This is a feature that I absolutely love because there's always a risk of uh, one card getting an error and getting damaged. And let me tell you how much panic you can feel in a situation when you can lose the entire day of work and you are in the position to fail your client. This can end up even worse being sued for breaching a contract. So a real life backup system is awesome in my opinion. On the left hand side, we have something that is also awesome for the amateur and professional video makers. We have for the first time the microphone input and earphones out so you can actually listen to the sound you're recording. As the flip out screen is not present on this camera, you have the uh, ability to know if the sound is okay while you are recording it. Also, we have a flash trigger outlet and a remote trigger jack and also USB 3 and HDMI cable outputs. For the menu and settings, I'm going today to go into details, so grab a coffee. Uh, this camera comes with a large number of settings organized just like a Canon classic menu from the left to right and uh, this time is organized in tabs and sub tabs. You can scroll from, from left to right with the top dial button or the directional selector button at the back and uh, from top to bottom with the same selector or just this back wheel. So from left to right we have camera settings with this sub option, image quality, review, beep, release shutter with no card, lens aberration, flash control, exposure, ISO, auto lighting optimizer, white balance, custom white balance, white balance bracketing and color space. We move on. Picture style, long exposure, noise reduction, high ISO, speed, noise reduction, highlight tone priority, dust delete data, multiple exposure and, and HDR mode. Going on, red eye reduction intervalometer and this time is this is an awesome feature to do time lapse without an additional and external intervalometer. And we have bulb timer, anti flicker shot, mirror lockup. Moving on, live shoot autofocus method with the great face uh, tracking. Continuous autofocus grid display aspect ratio and exposure simulation. Moving on, silent LV shoot and metering timer. Next to the second tab dedicated for the focus, uh, we have autofocus type with a few uh, new features that I have never had the chance to actually go into detail. Next tab, autofocus servo priority, lens electronic manual focus, beam assisted firing and one shot autofocus. We have lens drive focus, selectable focus point, area selection mode, section mo selection mode, orientation linked auto focus point and some other options that I did not test so far. We have manual focus section pattern displayed during focus, visual finder, illumination, uh, autofocus status in the viewfinder. Next tab is about image organization, protect images, rotate, erase, print, photo book setup, image copy and row processing. We've got resize rating slideshow, image transfer and image display jump, highlight alert, focus point display, black uh, playback grid, histogram, movie play count, magnification and control over HDMI. Next tab refers to camera settings. We have a record function, card holder, selection to switch between CF card and SD card, file numbering, names, auto rotate and format card. Moving on, auto power, LCD brightness, date time zone, language, viewfinder display, GPS settings. Moving on, video, set video system, battery info, sensor cleaning, info button, options, rate button function and the HDMI frame rate. Moving uh, custom shooting mode, Clear settings, copyright info, certification logger and firmware version, pretty useless if you ask me. The final major tab is about custom functions, is uh, an individual tab with five sub tabs. Here we go, exposure level increments, ISO bracketing increments, bracketing auto cancel, bracketing sequence, number of bracketing shots, safety shift and same exposure for new aperture. We've got set shutter speed range, set aperture range, continuous shooting speed where you can limit these things. Not sure why, but this is the option. We've got focus screen, warning in viewfinder, LV shooting area display, dial direction during TV, AV, multifunction look, custom controls. We've got add cropping information. 
default erase option and finally clear all custom functions. The final tab is for you to customize your own tab if you wish. This is by far the most complex settings menu I have personally seen. I hope you're still awake. I have not touched all of them uh, and all the cameras in the world, but I intend to. So this is by far the most detailed menu systems in my experience. There are so many options. It is actually overwhelming and uh, I intend to do a long video about this in the future for people really wanting to get to the nitty gritty is there are a few interesting hidden features in this uh, setting menu. In regards to video settings, we can shoot MOV files and MP4. So we have two choices here. We can do full HD at 50 frames per second, which is very nice, or 25 with a lot of quality options, which I am not going to, uh, to go through because this is uh, a video about a review on a camera that takes photos it's a dslr and most of the academy uh, viewers are more interested in photos than the video that's a personal observation just to to be consistent with all the other reviews we're gonna do the photo sharpness exercise and i will compare it with the 7d uh, my classic dummy head and uh, from now on I intend to present the comparison in the worst shooting conditions rather than the great light or studio conditions because that will show the real difference between performances for different cameras. In regards to a video test, the quality of the footage is outstanding, it's all I can say. I have noticed that this camera outperforms the Canda 70D and that is noticeable in low light situation. In full light it's very difficult to tell the difference. The ISO quality and the performance of the 70D exceed the little brother. One thing I'd like to have had as an amateur video producer is to have the flip out screen but unfortunately that's not the case because if I want to shoot myself on the street I cannot see what I'm filming because there's no flip out screen but that's not a deal breaker and this camera is not necessarily for video and there are ways around it <laughs> One more test, my left hand side is the Canon 70D, ISO 12800 and on my right hand side is the Canon 70D Mark II, 1600 ISO, both are manual mode shooting, video 125th of a second 3.5 aperture, so we are comparing ISO, even in this case the 70 Mark II is by far superior. I hope you can see that the noise on the 70D is uh, much worse. Why should you buy this camera? There are not many reasons why you shouldn't actually. The most important feature is speed. The 10 frames per second is enough to convince any sport enthusiast who is serious to catch some action that there is not much better performance out there. This is for speed. The 7D Mark II has a superior focusing system that I've ever seen on other cameras so far, but I haven't seen them all. Anyway, there are so many options to set up the focus that it's actually a bit overwhelming. This camera is built with the mindset of the user going to chase birds, running cheetahs, high speed racing, sk uh, skydiving or snow skiing or boxing or a lot of action.
that's the camera for. The quality is outstanding and the ISO performance is fantastic. This performs as good as any other Canon high quality uh, cameras, if not better. I, I'm actually impressed with the ISO performance. Video capabilities are top. You can do slow motion at full HD and you can also have um, the sound checked with the output 3.5 jack for your earphones. That's a good. I haven't seen this in many other cameras so far. And uh, the sound the 10 frames per second makes is just music to my ears. This is subjective, but listen to this and let me know if you disagree. 3.9 frames per second versus 7 frames per second versus 10 frames per second. I could listen to this all day long. Let's go through the reasons why you should not buy this camera. Let's go through the cons. I cannot think of why you should not buy this camera other than the price, which is uh, probably bro prohibitive for a lot of people in this world. But for those of you who can afford it, this should be a no brainer. If I really want to be picky just for the sake of argument, this camera exceeds uh, in video performance the other DSLRs, but what's the point if you want to do a high quality video if you don't have a flip out screen? But this is me, uh, there are ways around it, you can uh, connect external monitors if you want to be serious about it, but just as I, as I said, if I want to be really picky, but that's again, this is just a reason for me. One more downside before. Uh, Question, why the 70D has the Wi-Fi and this one doesn't? Doesn't make much sense, but hey, I'm not the Canon producer, so this could be a marketing thing. Where should you buy this from? I'm going to place a few links below. You can buy this camera if you wish. Uh, Amazon, BHT, Photo Video, Adorama are the biggest retailers. Feel free to do your own research. It depends which country are you from and um, I will leave it to that. In conclusion, I have played with this camera for a few days and I was absolutely impressed how easy it is to use it and how much quality it can give you and how silent it performs and how fast it captures the action. I was proud of my full frame DSLRs before and I always thought that the full frame is better than the crop sensor but playing with this let me tell you I don't think the difference exists any longer in my opinion I'm actually looking to add this camera to my bag in the near future as my own choice for a high quality and reasonable affordable alternative because sometimes I just want to shoot action it's not all about weddings it's not all about portraits sometimes I just want to chase a bird and shoot the crap out of it and that's the camera for it. Thank you for watching. I hope you're still uh, awake. If you have any questions and comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, until I see you next time, I wish you happy shooting. Thank you very much. If you are a beginner photographer, you're still struggling with the basic concepts of photography or camera settings, I would like to extend the invitation for you to check out my uh, book, Master Your Camera in 10 Easy Exercises, where you can actually learn in 10 days how to control your camera completely in manual mode and also understand all the basic concepts of photography. Check out the website. Remember to subscribe. Uh, see all the detailed instruction how you can get your copy today. And until I see you next time, I wish you happy shooting. Thank you very much.